Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to do a martial arts action pose. And this is a pose in which there is a foreshortening and there is some perspective involved. So we are going to grab a, starting with yours truly, we are going to grab a pencil, put down our framework and we always say that lighter strokes prevail when it comes to sketches. So if we can just have that going, that is, believe it or not, that is our core uh, framework and we will base everything off this. So now the, the things that we will keep, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start off with, sorry, is the extremely hunched back going into the leg here. This is the lower part of the body and that is the shoulder set and everything else right here is very very crunched. So abs, chest, somewhere around there probably and it will change as we go and, and make changes. So one leg and of course the second leg right around here but it would be okay to have the curvature going like that or like this or we can just do that for now put in a nice big knee nice big shin and calf area right there and we have a nice big foot and of course comparatively much smaller to this and we did mention there's foreshortening, which is a staple of action poses. We have the other leg, just like that. So knees, shin, and of course that'll be the thigh. And we will just put out some fleshy bits right there so that The core things are out of the way. One thing that we have to understand is that martial arts now is not just a discipline, like it is more of a mixed bag when it comes to a person adopting postures and, and we cannot speak for everybody but it is quite popularly undergoing consistent metamorphosis when it comes to adoption of styles, poses and usually what prevails is a mixture of things. So that is the lower body right there and what we can do is with the upper body there's a few different things. So right here let's say that we were to place the features outright so like show the features. So that would be the chest, delt, delt and let's say that this person is holding a weapon of some sort right there. So a stick, again with foreshortening because that's what's going to look good here. And right there, let's say that the arm is like going like backward. What we can have is that. And have that arm going outward again but everything will be smaller compared to this and in that case of course the person is let's say looking with the head hunched not like outright it's not 
in instinctive thing. It's not uh, natural even. So we'll increase that pack actually because the proportions are a little too wild there. And that's one pose. So a character like Nightwing could probably really benefit from this kind of pose where he holds like two two sticks or even a character like Daredevil would really benefit from this pose. But it could also be done used for other illustrations. And then right here with this, if we really really need to drastically change this. So let's cap off the back right here and bring everything inward. So there's the delt now moving in and we have let's say hand fingers right there and there's the arm and there is that stick again let's show it with a foreshortening sort of method but not that much so to make that one a little bit clear so we'll just make this one apparent because personally this looks like really over and above the other pose that we had going and it has some like an additional kick in it so if you see here although that is also okay but it's very very generic but this one here when we have the arm going here we leave the head right there and if we could still utilize that other hand and have him still holding that other object like this or that hand can be tucked in or not visible it's not necessary that that has to come into play but there's one more thing that we could do with this and that is many artists like do not try this because it makes the picture a little more convoluted but if it suits the illustration we pull the other hand back all the way like this finger set is right here that is a palm and everybody has seen this but again it's a very uncommon pose to tap into and we could have that hand holding the other object like this and it will still be dynamic so we it will just come down to the coloring the crosshatch of how we want to put out the features to make them more separated but that black lining right there shows our core framework and the preferred way to go about it so the eyes the nose and the mouth are right they're right down the center and it, and it should work so please do try it out it is essential action pose practice thank you for watching uh, please subscribe and keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day